In this short video, I'm gonna show you a framework that will allow you to create an endless number of ideas for your content, for your videos, for social media. Let's do this. So I call this my idea generation framework. It's a worksheet that helps you build a matrix of ideas. Along the top here, we have the various categories that you regularly talk about. And then along the side, we have a bunch of different prompts that will help you come up with different types of content ideas. So all you need to do is fill out these top level categories. Like for me, I talk a lot about persuasive video. I talk about content operations, which is like, how do you operate a content marketing strategy. I talk a lot about content automation and I talk a lot about content at scale like Gary V. So once you have something like this mapped out, you can just use that top row and the prompts along the side to help you generate a bunch of different ideas. Let me show you how. So at any given time, I can just look at any of these intersections to help me come up with a prompt and a topic to talk about. So I can look at content operations and then I can look at diagrams and then that would prompt me to create something more like this, a diagram that shows you a video flow all the way through the creation process, through post-production, through Q&A, and then finally through distribution. Or I could pick persuasive video and say inspiration for this box here. And then I might talk about how I used to be totally afraid of video and now I'm using it to grow my business and I've helped a lot of other people grow their business with video. So I can talk in depth about that inspirational story of going from afraid to confident on video. Or again, we could look at persuasive video and some of the myths around that. And one of those myths might be that if you create video, you will get clients, but it's really not true. The only way you get clients from video is actually if it's persuasive content. The content has to be good. It has to make people say, wow, I'm glad that I saw that video and now I'm going to share it with my network. Or I could look at this content column here where I talk a lot about scaling your content like Gary Vee and some of the myths around that. And the myth here is that you have to publish all this content across all the platforms. You really don't. You really want to master one platform before you scale out to all the different platforms. So you can see that if you map out your main pillar topics and then build out these different prompts along the left, it makes it easy to target in on these different boxes to keep inspired and create new content every time. Now, if you found this video valuable, make sure to check out the next video where I go in depth on how to create your point of view. How do you keep your ideas razor focused for your target market and how do you create those pillar topics that you can use in your idea generation framework that we went over today. Check out the video. I'll see you there.